Welcome back. Yes. Are you going to learn about medical devices and infectious disease at this year's Health Watch USA conference? Yeah, board chairman of Health Watch USA, Kevin Cavanaugh, joins us with details on an important conference that's happening this weekend. Doc, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. So what are we going to learn? Well, this is a patient safety conference. It is for the general public. Uh, we're going to learn about some of the shortcomings and dangers of medical devices. Uh, there are risks associated with any procedure, yeah. and medical devices are some of the more riskier procedures that you can have. And it is important that patients, I think, get an idea that these aren't for everyone. You want to make sure you have an indication when you get them in and some of the potential problems that may happen. There's also been a large amount of FDA, uh, well, a large amount of um, F FDA uh, evaluation of these devices, but this evaluation has been questioned as far as whether or not it's been totally effective in ensuring that these devices are safe. And so a lot of these points will be brought up in the conference. Now what devices are we yeah. talking about? Are we talking about the ones that are used to sanitize and sterilize or are we talking about the general uh, equipment that um, physicians use on a daily ba yeah. basis? Well primarily we're talking about uh, devices that are implanted into people. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And th this would include total knees, total mm -hmm. hips. Mm -hmm. um, also, you could look at morselators, which is actually a power device that goes into a, a abdominal cavity to grind up tissue. Um, cardiac devices have uh, come into question, uh, along with some birth control devices. So all of these are going to be uh, uh, talked about. And unfortunately, there are a lot of categories now which are becoming, uh, you know, under the gun because of what we feel is, is lack of effective oversight and safety assurance. Is there an inherent risk with any device though, Doc? I mean, that we well, put there in is. our body, right? There is, but some of these risks are, are what I would feel is avoidable. Okay. For example, on the birth control device, it's, it's based on, on nickel. It's very effective unless you have a nickel allergy, allergy in which case you're yeah. going to be severe problems, and, and that shouldn't uh, be allowed. Uh, some of the hip devices now, they're finding out uh, the two different types of metals are starting to cor corrode in saline. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I know as living up on a, growing up on a country home, if you've got two different types of metal sure. pipes that you're using for water, uh, they can corrode and burst, and well, indeed, that type of long-term failure may actually be happening in some of these devices. So th there is, you know, certainly some risk, but there are also what we would say are avoidable risks. So well, now this conference is for the general public, not it, for it medical. It is for the general public, but uh, doctors or nurses are welcome to come. We do have continuing ed credits, and we also have a large section on in infectious disease and the problems that we're seeing now with these emergent organisms. Should be interesting. The ninth Annual Health Watch USA's Patient Safety Conference is held November 13th, starting at 8.30 a.m. It's going to be held at 4 points Sheridan and Lexington. For more information, log on to healthconference.org. Good, Good to, to see you, Good to see Doc. you again. Thanks well, so thank much. You. Hang yeah. out there one quick second because we're going to take a look at this beautiful, <laughs> not November-like forecast. No, it's mm -hmm. pristine. Tom Ackerman has been trying.